shelving stuff in here to hold my planes on. I had a couple of requests to show what I did, so we're going we're gonna to show you show you what I built here. Um, this top rack will slide forward. It's only four feet wide, and my hopes was I could put my extra 260 under here, slide this forward, and then the tail stick up back here, but I don't think it's going to fit, so I'm going to have to revamp on that, but all my other planes will fit. Um, it's just like almost three-quarter plywood with the uh, indoor outdoor carpet but you have to get a certain kind of the indoor outdoor carpet for this velcro to uh, stick to it and what do you do I went to Walmart and bought a 20 foot roll of this industrial grade velcro Walmart does not carry these bungees anymore so I went to Harbor Freight got a jar of 20 of those for five bucks and sat down at the table for about 20 minutes and cut them and put little holes and squeeze these together with pliers this sticks very well to this carpet Got this Ken from, or this idea from Ken. This is what he has in his trailer, and it works very well. Um, another thing I did. This is just temporary right here. Uh, I wanted some kind of casters on this so I could slide it in and out. And it, all I could find were, you know, no less than three inches tall. So I ended up. I got online and looked at Harbor Freight. And sure enough, they had some low profile one inch ball bearings. They're only an inch tall. And these are ball bearings in here. I got a dozen of them. They were $1.69 a piece. I put four rows of three and I, I marked my board and lined them up to where they would fit in the grooves of the bed of my truck. So it's easy to roll in and out. <laughs> so I got that part done. Now, the only thing I haven't done. Today I'm just going to use that tripod. I'm going to buy some galvanized pipe, have it threaded on each end, and you can get those little flat plates that bolt to something. I'm going to bolt one on each corner. I can pull this out, screw my legs on here, and then pull it on out, and I've got a big old table right here. So I can strap everything on it, and then slide it up in the truck. Uh, so it's going to work pretty good for what i got until I can get a trailer one of these days. But uh, pretty much, uh, like I said, i got the straps bungees and harbor freight, got the ball bearings and harbor freight, the uh, rest of it I got it Lowe's except for the Velcro, Lowe's has that too, any hardware store, but anyway, there it is, all its glory, and uh, I'll get home tonight and I'm real tired, and I don't have to worry about unloading this stuff, if it's raining or something I can leave it till the next day, and so. this will do me till I can get me a good trailer, there you go guys, alright here's after it's pulled out, like I said the tripod's just temporary, I'm going to put legs on the corners, but that's after it's pulled out. You leave that part on the tailgate, and I got a big old nice table there. And work on planes, put them together, whatever. Uh, I stapled the carpet down, but I realized I missed a couple along this edge right here. I'm gonna have to tighten that down. But the rest of it's I stapled all around the edge of it and across the middle in four or five strips. So, but uh, anyway, there it is, man. Okay, I've come back and put the legs on it now. And what I did, I just got some uh, galvanized pipe. I needed 32 inches, so I got a 30 inch piece, a coupler, and a 2 inch piece. I bolted these little plates on the bottom, and they just screw on there. So, when I pull it out now, I don't have to use that tripod. Um, it's got legs on it, and uh, holds it nice and steady, and good work table. And it's easy to just unscrew them and roll it up. So, there's how she works. 